Greedy 3 Deers and welcome to today's cool episode or should I say hot episode. Today I'm going to show you how I made this. This is the Wicked Johnny Storm Bust aka the Human Torch. I'll show you how I made this using some translucent red resin and we'll show you how we got this little magic effect on it. Stay tuned. <music> To make Johnny Storm today, I'm using the Elegoo water washable photopolymer resin, but I'm using the translucent red. And uh, wow, I'm so impressed with this. I've uh, printed the Storm Bust, the Human Torch, and uh, it's come out absolutely marvellously. I cannot complain at the quality of this water washable resin. Now, for those of you that are wondering what settings has he used, I really haven't tweaked with this at all. These are the settings I've used, pretty standard, really. 35 second bottom exposure and 2.5 seconds uh, each layer, simple as that. Uh, and once it's done and it's cleaned, I just let it cure in the sun for a while and now I'm moving on to the painting. So don't be afraid of painting flames. Just take some of this lava orange first. This is one of the Army Painter Mega Air Set range. Take this colour and just go across the tops and the tips of the flames. Try and get a, a nice even coverage all the way across. Now don't worry about this. You can, you don't have to be precise. You really don't. Just do the best you can to get over those flames and try to steer a little bit clear of his body while you're doing so. I've probably lost a bit of sleep worrying about how I'm going to do this, but do you know, I can't believe how relatively easy it was. Exactly the same with his body. I'm just going to touch the edges with him. I'm going to leave the red in the centre and I'm going to look at putting the orange on the flames all over his body. And I'm just going to touch a couple of areas of him. And I'm going to do things like his fingertips. I'm just going to do the bottom of his chin, the top of his hair. I don't want to take away the translucentness of it, but I just want to make sure that the flames themselves have gone away from red and are moving towards orange. Flame has lots of varying colours in it. And as it changes to temperature it gets a different colour it goes whiter and whiter and that's what I'm doing with the orange really I'm just trying to uh, cascade the colours now take your time with it and just hit the outer layers and when you're happy move on to a different colour I'm just using this orange again from the air painter uh, mega set uh, and I'm just going to touch a little bit further up and I'm going to try to blend the two colours together moving towards the outer parts of the flame as I go along now there was very little rhyme or reason in doing this. I just tried to use my eye and concentrate now. Where I've done the orange, I just want to make that a lighter colour and look like it has gone from red to orange to a more yellowy orange colour. And again, same with his fingertips. They would be molten, surely. So I've given them a hint and it just oh, really does make it look amazing. And his chin, I gave a little bit of a blast to. I gave a little bit to his body, just to his chest. I don't want him to look red uh, in the centre, but I don't want him to look... Uh, to off red because that's where the centre of the heat is going to be there and I'm pretty sure it's the other way around with heat that white is hotter but you know this is the uh, this is the way he's going to look. Um, keep going until you're happy you've covered most of the flames with that orange and again don't cover all of them we want to change colour and that's really important and once you've done that I'm using some demonic yellow here but you can use any yellow you really want to it's more of a larvary effect isn't it and again I'm doing exactly the same thing and, and I found the yellow really did bring this model to life and I'm just doing the edges the very very edges so it's gone red orange a bit amber and then yellow and I'm doing exactly the same to his body touching a few areas just to make it look hot which of course I want that to happen and the tips of his fingers as you can see it's really not hard it really really isn't just have a go if you're not sure before you do the main piece just print yourself off a, a spare bit and have a practice on it and see how you get on but I'm, I'm really pleased with how it's all coming along so far don't overdo any of the areas stop and have a look at it and if you need to do a bit more do a bit more you, you really can't go backwards without starting again Final colour that I'm putting on is white. Now, don't overdo the white. I really, really strive that you don't overdo it. Just little bits on the edges just to add that white flame effect. If it goes too much, it will ruin it and you don't want to take away from the orangey yellowness. But I've just added white as a little bit of contrast and just on the edge to show the heat of the flame. But um, I found that uh, the more I put on, the less I liked. So, you know, learn from that and just put a little bit on there.
Now I'm using some clear varnish and it's important to use clear varnish over the top of it. I've let it cure in the sunshine so it doesn't uh, it doesn't look like it's gone off colour, it doesn't look cloudy or it doesn't look too cloudy. There's always going to be a little bit of cloudy and translucent and I'm going to give it a really good layer all over with some clear varnish and that will seal it all in and make him look really really shiny. Now this stuff stinks. Make sure you use a well ventilated area and you wear protection. You can see a little bit of the misting on his chest there and the, the varnish covers it lovely. And that's the flame effect done. Now, really, watching that, it wasn't too hard, was it? So start off with red, orange, amber, yellow into white, adding little layers as you go along and just gently doing it. Doing it with a brush might be difficult. It is possible, I'm sure, but it's really easy with an airbrush. And here we have the pièce de résistance as they say in other parts of the world. It's an LED USB powered base. And uh, if we add this to Johnny Storm, it just works wonders. Now this was from Amazon, only cost me a few quid and I will put a link uh, in the uh, description. And as you all know, I am an affiliate to Amazon. So if you buy through the link, a little bit of money will come back to the channel, but it will cost you guys no more at all. And there we have Johnny Storm on his new base. I think you'd agree, it's looking pretty good. Uh, but watch this, flame on. And there we go, that's with the light underneath now. Wow, I mean, I'm just absolutely in awe. That makes such a difference, doesn't it? Relatively cheaply, uh, you can change the whole look of a lot of your characters, really, especially if you print them in some fluorescent -y, uh, translucent resin absolutely chuffed with how he's come out well thank you for watching today i hope you've enjoyed this making video i hope i've taught you a little bit on how to do some paint and flame effects and uh, stay tuned for the next greedy 3d and, and don't forget really would be appreciated from me if you can subscribe to the channel see you next time